Hello, Magnus here, and today's test, I actually wanted to test something that I've been meaning to test for a long time, and it's basically what memory cards are compatible for 4K footage recording on the 5D Mark IV. I've got the 5D Mark IV right here, and I've got a couple of memory cards that I actually wanted to test out. Um, I looked at a list online, you know, while I was searching to see what type of card would actually be fast enough to accept the 500 megabits per second on the Canon 5D Mark IV in order to enable 4K recording for me. Now I preferred SD cards because they're less expensive and of course you can find larger card sizes for them. However, unfortunately CF cards are much faster than SD cards. So CF cards was probably the route I was going to go anyway. So I actually started off having a uh, 16 gigabyte SanDisk Extreme. I just happened to have one of these memory cards. I tried it out to see, you know, how fast it would record. Actually, my very first video when I unboxed the 5D Mark IV, I recorded the limited amounts of footage off of this memory card and actually was able to record a few seconds. I didn't test anything longer than, than a few seconds and it did just fine. But unfortunately, the buffer runs out and then you're left without any ability to record any further than a few seconds, which was not gonna work for me. So I searched online and I found a list of cards that could possibly be compatible and not. When I actually looked at the manual, Canon actually has recommended types of cards that you can purchase so that you can ensure that you get 4K recording. I'm gonna put that to the test because I did not believe them. And I believe that you can pretty much ensure that the only way you're gonna get 4K recording is off a very fast CF card. Thanks to the fact that Canon limited the types of card slots, you didn't get any CFast. You only got the CF card slot and SD card slot that only accepts SDXC. Um, I'll have to put a description in the video or something or write it here what type of card it actually is because it escapes me. But anyway, main point is that you can decide for yourselves on what works and what doesn't and it might save you some money. So here we go. Let's start with the first card. I've got my Canon 5D Mark IV in hand and I'm going to start with the LX series 128 gigabyte SDXC U1 type of card. Now this card doesn't actually list how fast it goes, but I doubt that this SD card will be able to record in 4K. But let's test it out here. So I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it on, turn on the camera, let me take off the lens obviously. So I inserted the card and boom, there it goes. Um, it's a 128 gigabyte card, so it says you know, I've got some plenty of time there. Could fill up the whole 29 minutes. And I'm going to hit the record button. I've got my settings as 4K, 29 frames per second. Pretty much the fastest frame per second you can get on 4K. And I'm just going to hit the record button and see what happens. The thing recorded for not even two seconds and already on my screen. Uh, you can't see it from here, but it hit the buffer and it says movie recording has been stopped automatically so this card is a no-go let's disqualify that moving on we'll go to a sandisk adapter what i've got here and what's i've got hidden in here is an actual samsung micro sd card which is a sdxc 64 gigabyte evo card u1 class one so i'm going to stick it in here and once again, let's see how long this lasts. Now it says it'll only record for seven minutes. It's a small card, so believable, thanks to the high bit rate. Hit the record button. Two seconds later, same message. Movie recording has been stopped automatically. Not working. Don't get that type of card. Next up, we're upgrading levels of cards here. So we've got a PNY Elite Performance 64 gigabyte SDXC class 10 type 1 U3 card. So this type of card should be faster and it says it does 95 megabytes per second. 
Now, when you see that type of label, you've got to keep in mind that 95 megabytes per second, more than likely, and on this case it does, describe the transfer rate from the SD card to the computer. So it's a read rate. The actual writing speed would be significantly slower, and you'd probably have to look that up because most cards, at least on them, they don't, they don't tell you that. They try to hide that fact. When the actuality is that you're not going to get those type of speeds to record. And let's test it out here. Okay, 64 gigabytes. Hit the record button. We got it. Obviously, this card is faster. It's lasting longer. Six whole seconds before it said move recording has been stopped automatically. Why? Buffer right now. Next card that I've got is Sandus Extreme Compact Flash Card, the one that I did a couple of seconds of recording. It says 60 megabytes per second, 16 gigs of space, and it's got that little clip rating of 20. Now what that means is that basically the, you can almost depend on a consistent write speed of 20 megabytes per second. Now we all know that on 500 megabits per second, you're going to need at least three times the speed of that to be able to uh, record 4K footage. But I'm going to slip this card inside the uh, 5D Mark IV. And let's see how long this card will last. Here we go. All right. We've got much longer than any of the SD cards. We're already at 10 seconds. And you're going to get that because it's a CF card. It's going to have faster transfer speeds. Now, let's see how long this will last before I hit it. Now, again, I told you guys before that my first video... I recorded a couple of seconds before I hit a buffer. Now this hit almost 30 seconds before I actually hit the buffer and now it said movie recording has been stopped automatically. CF card slightly faster. This particular card still you hit the buffer. You hit that wall. So if you see that 20 rating more than likely actually definitely likely you cannot do consistent 4k recording on the 5d mark IV. We're gonna have to boost speeds and go faster. My next card is a card that I picked up today for extensive storage of pictures and stuff if I don't want to delete but pretty extensive card Alexar Professional 95 megabytes per second 512 gigabyte card now I was actually testing recording on this earlier today it actually did about a good couple of minutes before it stopped so and it heat up pretty pretty hot so I'm gonna try again now on this faster card, I already have 10 seconds and going higher because the, the uh, bit rate on this card that it can write is actually significantly faster than any of the other SD cards. So I might last much longer on this card before I start hitting that buffer. Um, I'm almost at 30 seconds now, still going. So what does that mean? Does this card work? Uh, well, truth is, I can tell you even before it's going, I mean, we're almost hitting a minute here and it's still going. It can do a solid couple minutes, a minute, especially if you haven't used it and it hasn't had a chance to heat up. It'll do a solid couple of minutes, but then it's going to hit that buffer. And in that buffer, it's going to stop recording. Um, I've gone over a minute now and it's still recording on this card. Now, when I saw it recording and it still consistently kept going, I was getting excited because I'm like, oh my gosh, 512 gigabytes of space on an SD card that I could bring pretty much anywhere? I need something like that. My largest CF card is only 256 gigabytes, and that thing is pretty expensive. So I'm at a minute and a half already, and it's still recording, and it hasn't stopped. So if I only got to do a minute and, I, and I'm desperate and I need something and I don't have my CF cards or my CF cards full, I could at least get a solid minute, maybe two, pushing it before it stops. Now I'm almost hitting two minutes right now and it's still going. Let's see how far we can get. Fast forward the footage now. Over three minutes now. I'm actually pretty amazed. Let's uh, pay attention to here. Fast forward and let's see what happens. Okay guys, apparently I'm well over five minutes now and this thing is still going. 
The card is actually surprising me. It's lasting a lot longer than I thought it would, but I still wouldn't use it because I know it hit the buffer on me previously. When I first put in the card, I wanted to see if I could do a full half an hour with no break, no, no glitches, no fall, but it stopped on me and it hit that buffer. But right now it doesn't seem to be hitting that writing buffer again. And it's almost at three, two, one, six minutes. It's at six minutes and it's pretty consistent. So again, I do not recommend using this card for 4K recording because in my previous test, I'm gonna stop it at seven minutes. I already did the test earlier and it didn't work. However, I guess it's spotty. Sometimes it'll last longer than, than you think it would last. So right now it's, it's just going and it's not stopping. It's recording, it's consistently recording. It's not stopping. I'm getting a large amount of footage. I don't know. I don't know why it's working now. Guys, I promise you, it hit that buffer. But right now, it's not hitting that buffer. I don't think that sporadically hitting that mark is worth the risk. So quite honestly, guys, it's still recording as I'm talking. It's still recording. I can only tell you one thing. Use at your own risk, but try not to. Uh, try to go for a better card because quite honestly, if it goes down on you and you cannot repeat the footage, let's say you're watching a bride walk down the aisle and you can't get that shot again and it's just not worth it because you're going to lose a lot of shots. So eight minutes, it's still going. I'm going to just stop it right now because I'm surprised. But I'm going to put this thing through the ringer. I'm going to try to see if I can get a full half an hour out of it um, eventually. And then if I do get a half an hour, I'll uh, update you guys on, on the status of this. For my final test, a 256 gigabyte compact flash UDMA7 Lexar Professional, 160 megabytes per second, 1066 times. I've got, like I said, 250 gigs and I got 128 gigs. I am not going to test the 256 because the 256 is what I've always used to record. I've recorded up to as long as I wanted to, no problems with buffering. It's definitely fast and I can't recommend this card enough. My only complaint is that I am limited to only 256 gigabytes and not a larger card. So that limits to me just about a little over an hour. And I would actually like more time because of a high, higher bit rate. On Canon's book, they said that any card that's less than 256 gigabytes, around 128 gigabytes or less, you get a card of this size and the camera itself will format the card to a FAT32 file format, which means you're going to be limited to four gigabyte files. If the card is formatted in XFAT, now I theorized this in one of my other videos and I'll put the link at the end of this video or you can click the little icon on the top. It works with phone or computer and you can actually see that video where I was actually talking about MJPEG editing is easy. I also recorded on that 256 gigabyte card for the full half an hour and it only created one file. The theory was, will it work on a smaller card? I popped this card in earlier today. Now you, I know it's fast enough. It's definitely fast enough to record 4K footage. I could pretty much leave it on and I have no worries that it's gonna record 4K footage. The one worry was the fact that you cannot get just one solid file off of a smaller card. I had 256 gigs, so it definitely had to be XFAT, but this 128 gigabyte card would automatically be formatted by the camera as FAT32. Well, I actually connected this card immediately to my computer with the intentions of formatting XFAT, but the card actually came in an XFAT format, so I didn't have to reformat. All I did was stick it in this camera and hit record. I recorded about 24 minutes of footage. It can record over 30 minutes, but I only did 24 because my battery died when I was recording uh, the footage. So I, I was fine with the 24 because that should be large enough in itself to, to obviously be split into many four gigabyte files. So I take the card, pop it in my computer, and guess what I see? Because of the XFAT format, I only had one file. 
it was over 92 gigabytes and that one large file was only one file so the answer is if you've got a larger card you've got a larger CF card I'd say it probably will work with 64 or greater you've got that type of card simply format it in XFAT don't let your camera format it just format it in XFAT and then start recording off the 5D Mark IV you won't have to deal with a number of files just to combine them into one especially if you're recording for a longer period of time so that's a saving grace that's a plus remember that tip um off of this card i was you just saw me i was pleasantly shocked i might actually have this as a backup recording rather than depend on this to record but to have a backup that large it must be a plus. Last thing I want to mention today, of course, is that I recently took a few pictures of that giant moon, that super moon that we were supposed to see over the US about a week ago, actually past weekend. So I wanted to show you guys a couple of the pictures that I took. I didn't take many, but um, from the pictures I took, you could see that with 5D Mark IV, I had the 24 to 70 millimeter lens. And then the really big close up, I used the Samsung NX1 using the 70 to 300 millimeter Canon lens because I could get up to 450 millimeters thanks to the crop sensor of the NX1 at a crisp 28 megapixel camera. So I took that, wanted you guys to see those pictures. Tell me what you think, if you like, if you don't, or what would you do differently? Occasionally I take pictures of the moon too anyway, so um, let me know your setting. And finally, to wrap up this video, comment tell me anything that comes to mind or any questions that you might have about the memory cards hit that like button and as always you can make my day if you subscribe today this is Magnus and I'm out thanks guys see you later can't believe this card worked <laughs> so weird well I'm still nervous to use it but we'll see